What is Dark Matter? Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be exploring one of the biggest mysteries of the universe, Dark Matter. As a space enthusiast, I'm sure you have heard of it, but do you really know what it is? Dark matter is a form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to telescopes. Scientists estimate that dark matter makes up about 85% of all matter in the universe, with regular matter which makes up everything we see and interact with, like stars, planets, and galaxies, making up just the remaining 15%. Dark matter is not only invisible but it also interacts very weakly with regular matter. Scientists know it exists because of its gravitational effects. They have observed that dark matter's gravity is holding galaxies together and bending light around them. This mysterious substance is called dark matter because it remains unknown what it is made up of. However, Scientists are actively searching for answers and hope to discover more about dark matter in the future. Scientists have been studying dark matter for decades, but why is it so important? Dark matter is the backbone of our universe, it is the glue that holds everything together. Without it, galaxies, including our own Milky Way, would not exist. Understanding dark matter would help us to unlock the secrets of the universe. There are many theories about dark matter, but no one has yet been able to detect or understand it fully. So, let's explore some of the most fascinating facts about dark matter. What is dark matter made of? Despite decades of research, scientists are still unsure what dark matter is made of. One theory suggests that dark matter is made up of weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs for short. These particles have a similar mass to the proton and interact only through gravity and the weak nuclear force. Other theories suggest that dark matter consists of axions or sterile neutrinos. Axions are very light and interact similarly to other types of subatomic particles. This theory is difficult to prove as the detection of axions also poses significant challenges. Lastly, Sterile neutrinos are also being considered as a possible form of dark matter. These neutrinos do not interact through the weak nuclear force but are still harder to detect than other standard model particles. Ongoing research and technological advancements are essential to gain a deeper understanding of dark matter. How do we detect dark matter? As dark matter does not interact with light, it cannot be detected directly. Instead, scientists rely on indirect methods to detect the presence of dark matter. One of the most common methods is measuring the gravitational lensing effect, where the dark matter bends light, causing it to appear magnified. Another method is studying the motion of stars in galaxies, which can be influenced by the gravitational pull of dark matter. These indirect methods have allowed scientists to gather substantial evidence for the existence of dark matter despite its elusive nature. By observing the gravitational lensing effect, researchers have been able to map the distribution of dark matter in different regions of the universe. The data collected from studying the motion of stars and galaxies has also provided valuable insights into the gravitational interaction between visible matter and dark matter. The combination of these observational techniques has deepened our understanding of the role dark matter plays in shaping the structure and evolution of the universe. Although the exact nature of dark matter remains a mystery, these indirect detection methods continue to provide valuable clues in unraveling its enigmatic properties. Further advancements in technology and research are expected to enhance our understanding of dark matter and its impact on the cosmos. Dark Matter versus Antimatter Dark matter is often confused with antimatter, but they are not the same thing. Antimatter is the opposite of regular matter, with particles that have the same mass but the opposite charge. When matter and antimatter come into contact, they annihilate each other, releasing a large amount of energy. In contrast, dark matter does not interact with regular matter in this way. The distinction between dark matter and antimatter is crucial in understanding the workings of the universe. While both concepts involve particles that have unique properties, 
they have vastly different effects. Antimatter, as its name suggests, serves as the counterpart to regular matter. It possesses the same mass as normal matter but carries an opposite charge. This duality between matter and antimatter creates a delicate balance in the universe. When matter and antimatter collide, their interaction results in a phenomenon known as annihilation. This event releases an immense amount of energy, which can be observed and measured. Scientists have studied the characteristics of antimatter extensively, trying to comprehend its role in the grand scheme of things. In contrast, dark matter behaves quite differently from antimatter. Despite its name, dark matter does not refer to tangible matter that exists in darkness. Rather, it encompasses a form of matter that is not visible or detectable using ordinary methods. Dark matter does not interact with regular matter in the same way that antimatter does, leading scientists to believe that it is composed of a different kind of particle altogether. The perplexing nature of dark matter lies in its enigmatic properties. Although it does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, its presence is inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter. The gravitational pull of dark matter facilitates the formation of galaxies and holds them together. Without this invisible force, the intricate structures we observe in the cosmos would simply not exist. In summary, while antimatter and dark matter share the distinction of being distinct from regular matter, they diverge significantly in their behavior and interactions. Antimatter exhibits opposite charges to regular matter and annihilation occurs when the two collide. On the other hand, dark matter's existence is inferred from its gravitational effects and its hidden nature poses a profound mystery in our quest to understand the universe. Comment if you need more explanation on antimatter. Is dark matter dangerous? As dark matter does not interact with regular matter, it is not dangerous to humans or the Earth. Although it is abundant in the universe, it is unlikely to ever come into contact with us. Scientists estimate that about 1 billion dark matter particles pass through our bodies every second, but there is no known way to detect them. I hope you found this video informative and it helped you to understand what dark matter is and why it is so essential to our universe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.